Greetings to everyone who is listening and watching me right about now. I am back once again, as I've always promised you, that whenever you see me, I carry good news. And this is the good news about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. On this channel, we release the word and the word about God. This is not about gossip. This is about God. My brothers and sisters, there is a very powerful word that I want to release unto you. There is a word that you need to hear right about now, before you leave, before you go to work, before you go to sleep. This word is for you. Some of you have not been understanding why things have been coming up against you. There has been so much fight, so much attack. Some of you don't have rest. You have sleepless nights. This is your word. Before I start this word, I would like to encourage each and everyone who has not subscribed to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on all the notifications so that you may never, ever, ever miss out on a single video. Remember, I also release live streams. There are days where I come here live to pray for you. So don't miss out on those powerful and anointed prayers. Those prayers can deliver you. Some of you, you are one prayer away from your breakthrough. Oh yes, you are one word away from your miracle. A word that can be declared and decreed by a man of God can work for you. And it will work for you. So keep on praying. Today's powerful word is they are attacking you in order to cause confusion among you. The attack is for a reason. The enemy knows exactly why they are attacking you. It is to cause confusion. It is to cause sorrow. It is to cause pain, to inflict pain on you. Look at Job. He was attacked by the devil to cause pain. Both physical pain and emotional pain. In the emotional pain was he lost his family. His wife came to him and told him, cast God and die. The physical pain that he had boils on him. It was painful. It was painful. He was challenged. There was confusion in his family. That his family, they not even like. Even his friends, they came to him thinking that you, you, someone would think that his friends would comfort him. No, they came to accuse him. To accuse him. There are people that have come to accuse you. There are people that have come to cause more pain on you. To cause confusion in your life. But I'm telling you, if you remain in God, if you believe in God, you will overcome. When Job believed in God, he overcame them. Today's scripture is from the book of Nehemiah, chapter 4, verse 7 to 9. Nehemiah chapter 4, verse 7 to 9. The Bible says, Now it happened when Sanballat, Tobiah, the Arabs, the Ammonites, and the Ashdites heard that the walls of Jerusalem were being restored and the gaps were beginning to be closed, that they became very angry. And all of them conspired together to come and attack Jerusalem and create confusion. Nevertheless, we made our prayer to our God, and because of them, we set a watch against them day and night. They set a watch against them day and night. The Bible says it happened when Sanballat, Tobia, and the Arabs, and the Ammonites, and the Ashdodites, when they heard that the walls of Jerusalem were being restored, and the gaps were beginning to be closed, they became very angry. There are people that have heard about your breakthrough. They are seeing your progress. They are seeing that you are closing in, zeroing in to your breakthrough. Nehemiah was closing the gaps. Some of you are closing the gaps. You are about to break through. You are about to come out of that prison. 
Now the attacks is a is an indication that you are close. The Bible says they attacked them. They were very angry. And all of them conspired together to come and attack Jerusalem and cause confusion. Sanballat, Tobia, the Arabs, the Ammonites, and the Ashdites, five groups. They conspired together to attack Nehemiah and his people. Some of you think you, think you are being attacked by one person. No, brother. No, sister. It is not one person attacking you. It is a combination of people and groups. Look at Jesus in Jesus' uh, story. The Pharisees and Sadducees did not, could not get along together. They had conflicting ideologies. But when Jesus presented himself, the Pharisees and Sadducees forgot about their ideologies. They forgot about their belief systems. They joined together. And they fought against Jesus. They started to fight against Jesus. The Bible says in it clear that these Arabs and Ammonites and, and Tobia and Sanballat, they wanted to create confusion. Some of you, you don't, want, you don't know why that confusion is coming. You wake up in the morning, you are so confused, so perplexed, you don't know what to do. The enemy is behind it. Confusion does not come from God. Our God is not a God of confusion. The Bible says it clear. Verse 9. Nevertheless, we made our prayer to our God. And because of them, we set a watch against them day and night. That is where the key is. It is not about them causing confusion. Because people, will cause, people will want to attack you and cause confusion to you. The key is that when Nehemiah and his group realized that the enemy was after them, they said, nevertheless, we, they made prayer to their God. When the enemy comes in there like a flood, what do you do? Make your prayer to God and God will set up a standard against him. Make prayer to God. That's why you see I come here life. For those that have not subscribed to this channel, and if you have subscribed, turn on all the notifications. Because when you turn on all the notifications, you'll be able to catch me when I'm live on this channel. You'll be able to get into serious prayer, warfare prayer. Some of you, your problem, it means prayer. Prayer and fasting for it to live. But if you sit there and just uh, believe and believe and believe and not pray, it will not happen. You need to pray. Add prayer and fasting to it. The Bible says that we set watch against them day and night. Some of you, when I'm, when I'm live here to pray, in your countries it's at night. Oh yes, in the middle of the night. In your countries, some of you, it's, 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 it's during the day. Pray, pray, pray. Nehemiah and his group, they set watch day and night. Not only day, not only night. The Bible says it was day and night. I pray for you that you are able to stand. That you are able to stand against your enemies. That as you stand, God will fight for you. Stand in prayer. Brothers and sisters, it is the end of this word. I hope it has blessed you. I hope it has encouraged you. Until next time, shalom.